CMMI Capability Maturity Model Integration. So we are discussing about this now. What is CMMI? Now here you see Department of Defense along with Carnegie Mellon University and Software Engineering Institute. So this CMMI Capability Maturity Model Integration. This is a framework that is process improvement framework it is proven and this is employed to improve the product quality so cmmi is equivalent to quality and also the development efficiency not even for hardware but software as well so as you see these two pictures United States Department of Defense, CMU and SEI, they all are involved in developing it. There are various giants like Motorola, Ericsson, many more, they are involved in the CMMI definition. CMMI has been established as a model to improve the business results. The improvement of business result is the core of CMMI. CMMI, as you see here, they are staged, they are different stages, actually five. They use five levels to describe the maturity, the level the organization has attained in terms of quality. Same as the previous one, the predecessor CMM, Capability Maturity Model. And this CMMI is vastly improved version of the earlier CMM. The basic in emphasis is on business needs, integration and institutionalization. CMMI stage representation. There are five maturity levels of organization. Every organization is characterized as one. So if the organization is level one, it is called initial. All the processes. What does processes mean? All the way the work is done and a combined task and activity combination. So the processes are unpredictable, poorly controlled and often the approach is reactive, not proactive. Something happens, then we react. If some organization is at level 2, it is called as managed. Processes, let me give you one more example. In software development lifecycle SDLC, there are different different uh, processes. For example, if you choose any of these waterfall or say spiral, you have a design phase. So that design is, is called as processes, all the activities and tasks involved. So in level two, the processes are planned, they are properly documented, and whatever is written in the document, they are performed and even monitored that is reviewed and controlled if something is not going up to the plan they are controlled but all this is at the managed level is only at project level this is very important only at the particular project level managed is also often reactive okay so these two are uh, reactive then we have the third level the third level is a defined what does it mean all these processes we talked about they are well characterized also well understood and the processes the standards if any company is following these standards may be made by the company itself or the organization itself all the procedure how to do the work the tasks and activities and the tools used to do that these are all defined not at the project level but at the organizational level as a whole so the organization may have multiple projects i am talking about all these at the organizational level this is proactive at defined level proactive quantitatively managed level 4 now here we talk about numbers processes see if you are at level 3 you are already at level 1 2 3 at if you are level 3 
you have already attained level 1 and 2 likewise so at level 4 everything is done along with this we have statistical and quantitative technique for example just talk about software you are estimating using say kokomo model you are scheduling so and you are doing the you know the earn value analysis this is all you are doing and you have the numbers optimizing this is the highest level level number 5 if your organization is optimized that means along with all these 1 2 3 4 the processes are continuously improving the process performance is continuously improving through the incremental and innovative technological improvements this is how it goes this is the process maturity diagram along with the process characteristics we have just seen the process characteristics of 1 to 5 level what about the behavior the first initial level the behavior is like firefighting the damage has already already been done now you are firefighting and the effectiveness is very low at initial level so the frustration will be quite high manage level now here we talk about people good people we have over reliance or the company is over relied on the experience of good people when they leave or they go the process go along with them that is why it is only at the project level define the reliance is not on people they are on defined process people everyone understand it everyone support it and they follow it because the rules are written the standards are being followed the procedure are being done and everyone does it quantitatively manage here the people have behaviorally they have greater sense of teamwork and interdependency among them and finally the behavior of optimizing now let me give you example of quantitatively managed one mechanical work can be used by or the, is the output of the electrical and they are properly interdependent and the optimizing that before the fire can happen we do all things it should not even happen the focus on fire prevention improvement anticipated and desired and also the impacts are assessed they are reviewed they are monitored they are tracked they are controlled in cmmi there is a important concept of functions and these functions are called as process areas normally kpa key process area within each of these five maturity levels there are certain basic functions that need to be performed and these are called as process areas so if you see first initial level there are no process areas in the second one managed we have seven process area you see here project planning project monitoring and control supplier agreement management requirements management measurement and analysis process and product quality assurance configuration management these all are the process area function when we come to three if you count them there are 11 process areas they have to be completely satisfied if you see the interaction and the overlapping of these two process areas of maturity level 2 3 it's always advisable and efficient to do these two three level issues concurrently now if you see here every every process area will have some goals goals to be achieved in order to achieve this goal with each goal there are certain practices to be followed to be done and finally these practices will result in work products some output okay so we have to follow all these to support or that is going to support each of the goals now let us take an example of requirement management now this requirement management is a process area in this process area what is the example goal for this managing the requirements management of requirements that is requirement analysis has been done now you need to manage these requirements put them properly and then follow them properly so what can be the practice for this goal the practice for this goal is to support the goal that is maintain a bi-directional traceability of requirements this is the practice if you have done things there are requirements 
you may be able to you should be able to trace everything back to these requirements traceability should be there so what will be the work products by this practice the output result will be the requirements traceability matrix or the requirements tracking systems so in order to understand cmmi there are certain terminology there is a proper structure flow of cmmi capability maturity model integration so these are the maturity levels 1 to 5 there are process areas process area 1 process area 2 process area n these are basically functions to be completely satisfied so in this process area there are two goals specific goal and generic goal the specific goal have certain specific practices in order to achieve this goal we need to have certain practices and then these practices are how to produce the work product the, the discipline the generic practice elaboration goal practice titles goal and practice notes and references in this process area only we have specific goal and we have a generic goal this generic goal now you you see there are certain common features what are these commitment to perform ability to perform directing the implementation and verifying the implementation for all these generalized or generic goals commitment to perform these are the common features ability to perform the directing implementation and verifying the implementation and these all goes to where since specific goals go to specific practices the generic goals goes to generic practices generalized practices okay all of these and finally what will be the actual work the work product same thing as the previous one specific practices because ultimately the goal have to be achieved so this specific goal these are required specific for each process area or function generic goals are also required common across all process areas common across all specific this all process areas okay now this specific practices these are informative all these and generic practices these are informative for information because i mean anything can be done the various options and specific practices and general practices they are required and actually putting all these into an institution is into an organization into a company is called institutionalization the the block i am making here is that part which comes actually into the institutionalization so this is the most difficult part of cmmi implementation because here the managers play a biggest role because now they have to implement this cmmi in their institution the building and reinforcement of the corporate culture that support method practices and procedures so they are the ongoing way of business must be able to demonstrate institutionalization of all cmmi processes area for all organizations and technology the block i made is required for all process areas so this is all about cmmi thank you so much take care of yourself